Okay, let's uh, let's let's go ahead and start. Let's get get right into uh, programming in VBA. So you open up a new book, uh, bring up the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab, you can go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and make sure that the Developer tab is selected. So here on the Developer tab, I can click on Visual Basic, and it goes over to something known as the Visual Basic Editor. This is where all the magic happens. This is where we're going to put the code. To put code in here, you always add a module. So let's add a module. There are other times that we'll put code behind this workbook and this sheet, but all other code goes in a module that you can insert up here. Insert module. So this is where we put the code, and let's just type in, and if you want to work by uh, alongside with me, you can pause this and bring up Excel. So I'm just going to call this sub. Um, and I'll explain a lot more what all this stuff means in subsequent screencasts, but I'm going to type in sub test and let's just type in message box so msg box and then in quotations hello alright and then I'm gonna run this using this button up here so I'm just gonna press play and we've made a message box that displays a word alright so that's real basic we can also do things like change the color of a selection so I've done selection.interior.colorindex, and you'll learn all about what these things are. But I'm just setting that equal to 7. So let's go back over to Excel. You can click up here, or you can do Alt F11 to, bring, to toggle between Excel and VBA. So I'm just going to make a selection, and let's, do, let's go back, Alt F11, and now I'm going to run that by pressing the Run button. And Alt F11 to get back, and you see that it changed the interior color of the selection and this this seven it corresponds to this pink color alternatively if I highlighted a selection here and went up here to the home tab and maybe made this yellow and let's go back to our code and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around so let's delete this and I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the equal sign on the left hand side all right and or actually I'm just gonna write message box message box selection interior color so it's what it's gonna do now is it's gonna it's gonna calculate or determine the color index code corresponding to yellow and it's gonna output that in a message box so let's make sure that the yellow cells are selected which they are and now let's go ahead and run this so it outputs six so the color index for yellow is six. Just a few more things, kind of some nuts and bolts of VBA. Uh, a really important thing is to comment, to put comments in your code, and you can do that with a single apostrophe. So I can write, you know, this is a comment, and it's just ignored. So a lot of times when you're programming, you want to make little notes like this next part does this, this next line does this, and so on. So that's a comment. Um, I wanted to sort of um, show you and highlight the importance. The most important window in the editor is the locals window. If that's not already up, you can go up here to view locals. And what that does is when we when we go through subs and we define variables and you have all sorts of things going on, you can sort of see what's going on down here with each of those variables that you have defined. All right, that's about it for the um, kind of just the nuts and bolts and getting started with VBA. Thanks for watching.